You know, I think you're going overboard. Like, overboard. I'm a cop, Frank. Asking questions is part of the job description. Yeah, but you're driving mom crazy. I'm trying to protect my family here. From what? From Maya kidnapping Lucy? Come on, Dad, you know that sounds a little paranoid. You do know what a miracle this baby has been for your mother, right? Of course I do. I know what she sacrificed for Lucy. Well, then you should know what I'm going through. You should know. You should get this. OK, all right. Well, let me ease your fears. I think I'm a pretty good judge of character. No argument there. I say Maya's a sweet kid. So trust me on this. Look, I know that's what you think. She'll it's... take good care of Lucy. I know she will. I shouldn't be doing this. But since you already know about Maya giving up the baby, I wouldn't be breaking confidentiality. What? You know more about Maya than you're telling? I treated her after she had her baby. She knew she wouldn't be able to take care of the baby girl on her own, so she believed giving the baby to a good family was the best idea. What about the father? He doesn't even know the baby exists. Well, that's a good thing. Well, I mean, for... So you, sir, no longer have to worry about Maya suddenly snatching Lucy. It's just a kid looking for a fresh start. Listen, I appreciate you telling me what you could. Um, I got to get back to work. All right, you you mind staying here, taking care of the baby? No problem. Back? I mean, you want to check my references first? Or... Yeah. That's very funny. Well, I'm just trying to put all this into perspective. All right, whatever. This hasn't been a healthy place for Maya to work. That's what you think. Now, I know Maya better than you do. I came all the way here from New York for her. That was your choice. And it was Maya's choice to work for J.R. Chandler. At the time, it was her only option. She had a good thing going here. Flex hours, we could hang together. Now you gone and talked her out of it. No one is stopping you from seeing Maya. But she'll be living with you. And whatever she chooses to do with her free time is up to her. What are you getting at? Exactly what I said. It will be up to Maya who she sees and who she doesn't. Understood. Hey, Brian, what's the problem? There was this woman. She was completely out of it. I don't know how the hell I lost her. She must know like every trail in these woods. But anyways, I, I was thinking maybe you could take the north section and I could take... Yo, Chief, what is it? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's Maya. Things just keep getting more and more complicated. What do you mean? Angela, she is dead set on having Maya move into the house as a full-time nanny. Oh, wow. You couldn't talk her out of that? No. No. Now she's got Frankie on her side. And on top of that, Frankie was the one that treated her after she gave birth to the baby. And he swears out that she ain't even trying to look for the baby. But... Uh, well, you know what? Maybe it is a small town, so maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe she's not out to, to, to get Lucy. It doesn't really matter, man. I, I, they can't be in the same house together. I, I gotta figure out something before it's too late. What a morning. I'm exhausted. I know what you mean. You too? Yeah. I just came from seeing JR. He hasn't just fallen off the wagon. He's been run over by it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I am too. So, I was by you, hmm? Have a tough morning at the hospital? Yeah, I spent time with Jake and Amanda and her test came back. She's got cervical cancer. Yep. How long, how long have they known? I mean, sh should I call Jake? I think I'm gonna be with the oncologist most of the morning, so. How's she taking it? They don't even know if it's spread yet, so. H how's Jake? Loving, supportive, trying not to worry. 
I'm sure. I can't do a damn thing to help anybody. I'm useless. I mean, not JR, not, not Amanda, not Jay. It's hard not having the answers. Bone crushing. Why don't you and your bones stay right there? Why? Where are you going? We are going to the beach. I think you should lose the jacket and the shoes for this. <laughs> I don't know. You sure we're on the beach? I mean, is that the idea? If I can't go to the beach, we're supposed to, you're going to bring the beach yes, to me. Yes, yes. This, this is, is the. We. This is the beach. This is gonna. We're, we're gonna meditate. We're gonna. We're, yes. That's is, what we're gonna meditate. That's why we're here. Well, did you bring any suntan oil? Because you know I burn easily. It's just you. Know, it, yeah, fry. Like, you know. This is gonna relieve our stress. I feel like an idiot. You know, there are other ways to relieve stress. Shh. Okay, fine. Lovely. I'm in the mood. I'm gonna get in the mood. Do I need a tie-dye shirt? Oh. Maybe some incense? S sacrifice a small chicken? Oh, gosh, no. You're... You got any Grateful Dead? Because, yes. you know, I think this will really round out the moment. <laughs> okay, no. I'm in the... I'm in the... Yes, you know why? Because... In the, in the I, zone. I, yeah, good. You're, you're feeling it now, because I learned this when I was in Doctors Without Borders from a very respected yogi. So. <laughs> Don't Next, laugh! Come on. No, no. Violence is not very yoga-like. No, actually, it's not. You're right. OK, so the, let's just get back to we're going to concentrate on just breathing, OK? Just breathing. How about I concentrate on you breathing? You know what? I need you to pay attention. I am paying attention. I'm riveted. <laughs> Stop it! Empty okay. Okay. the mind. Before I empty my mind, can I tell you what I was thinking? No thinking. OK. Just feeling. <sighs> Got anything in mind? Good. What do you mean, good? You, you had your eyes closed. Oh. That was good. I thought that went with the dinner. Close your eyes. OK. OK. Mm -hmm, I saw that. <laughs> now imagine the most beautiful beach you've ever been on. It's a perfect day. The sky is so blue. Let that just fill your mind. You can smell the ocean. You can hear. Timing is just fabulous. No, that's the ocean. That, I. That's, that was my ocean. This, this, you can hear the snoring. <laughs> that's really lovely. It goes well with the with the music, don't you think? Just breathe. Now that your biopsy came back positive for cancer, it's important for you to understand what we're going to be doing from here on out. Okay. So the next step is to determine what stage cancer we're dealing with. Uh, no, Doc, th there is a chance that we caught it early. Um, a chance, yes, Dr. Martin, but we won't know for sure until we do a complete workup. No, 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 of course. Well, I don't want you to hold anything back. I want to know exactly where I stand, so just be completely honest with me. Good, good. The idea is, even if the cancer is in an early stage, we want to treat it aggressively, okay? So you're going to have to take more tests? Uh, yeah, quite a few. We don't want to leave anything up to chance. So we'll do a chest x-ray, uh, CT scan, cystoscopy, IVP, MRI. Wow. Again, just to make sure that the cancerous cells have remained localized. And then when we get all those results, um, we can start talking about a plan of action. I understand that you were very happy with Maya's arrangement here. But the fact is, she was not happy. She was, until you needed her to work for you. Nobody planned any of this. It just turned out this way. You really doing this? You really leaving me again to live with her? It's just a job, Mookie. Is it?
I am so sorry. He's not usually like this. It's just he wanted to work close by it's, me. It's okay, Maya. It's okay. Maybe I should go look for him. Do you really think that's a good idea? No. Okay, then. Come on. Let's go home. Maybe you should just, I don't know, take a step back for a second. Are you kidding? I cannot risk Maya living in the same house as the baby. But if she's not trying to take Lucy, then why <sighs> risk stirring up things between you and Angie? Because if you try to get rid of Maya, that's the only thing that's going to happen. You know, I need to be home 24-7. That's the only way I'm going to oh, stop on, worrying what kind about of life this is that mess. Be? Every time I see Maya holding the baby, I, I, I actually get this feeling I, 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 that the bond between them, I can feel it growing stronger yeah, and stronger. That's, that's it's only natural. It's natural. You know what? One day she's going to hear Lucy's birthday, and she's going to realize it's the same as her own baby girl. She's going to start asking questions. She's going to put two and two together. Finally, she's going to figure out that this is her baby. I... <laughs> that cannot happen. OK, all right. So, so if this is going to go down, what, what do you need me to do? Oh.